everyone spends their time on Oz Christmas lighting. Um, I'll use this just in case people aren't coming to this with a background in the Oz Christmas lighting. Um, the forums, a uh, great place. The 101 manual is here, which is referenced on a whole bunch of websites out there pointing back here. Um, so strongly suggest you sort of you get in and take a look here. Um, chat, uh, I guess, you know, from about 6 p.m. till, I don't know, 10 p.m. at night Sydney time, um, it's pretty active. Outside of that, it's pretty quiet. Um, you then have the, the Nutcracker forums themselves. So this is nutcracker123.com slash forum. Um, definitely a good place to ask questions. Uh, bugs are common. There's a group here where people post bugs. If you're going to post bugs, please um, post your files if you can. Um, use, I think we talked last week about um, uh, this tools package log files. Um, so this will create, I've got a sequence open here. If I do this, it'll create this default uh, xlights problem.zip file and save it. And then when you report the problem, um, please include that file um, or a crash file if you get a crash file. Is it, was it here? Uh, this is the folder it wrote it to. There it is. Um, so what that will give me is it will give me your um, networks file, so I'll be able to see how you set your controllers up. It'll give me your RGBFX file, so that'll tell me or show me all of your models and how you've configured your models. If you happen to be in a sequence, it will give me your sequence file so I can reproduce the particular problem. And it will also give me your log files so I can see any messages that may have been generated, any, any sort of you know, strange anomalies that might have occurred get put into those log files. So if you submit this when you submit a bug, um, there's also a crash report or a crash report zip file. If you, if you submit those when you get crashes, uh, we can go in and sometimes we can work out what's wrong just by looking at it. Uh, sometimes with your description of what you were doing and your files, we can reproduce the problem as well. Um, and that lets, get, lets us get it fixed. Um, sometimes if it's complicated, uh, also posting us a video, uploading it to YouTube, sending us a link can also um, help us uh, solve your problems quicker. So, um, so there's the XLights forum. Obviously, everyone knows where to get the software from. Because uh, I don't. There it is, Nutcracker slash releases. Um, this is also where you can pick up the Queen Mary plugins if you, if you didn't get them the other week. Um, most of the videos here are quite out of date. Um, they all uh, date back into last year. Sean hasn't kept these actively up to date. There is a there is a message I posted onto the Oz Christmas Lights forum, which pointed to a whole bunch of people's video channels. Um, generally, here um, a whole swag of historical versions of X Lights are here. Uh, as long as you put them into separate folders, you can have as many versions of XLights installed on your machine as you like. Generally speaking, you can go backwards and forwards and you'll only occasionally run into problems. Um, there are exceptions there uh, when Gil introduced all of the new um, multiple preview stuff um, here in version 38. Basically, you don't want to be taking a version 40 or 39 file back. Uh, it won't crash or anything. Um, it's just that you'll, all your models will be missing and you have to go and sort of uh, uh, do a whole bunch of rework to get it to work. So generally speaking, um, stay there. Uh, version 40, uh, Sean has classified this as a, a non-beta, so it's a production release. So for those people that don't like to... Um, uh, always be up with the latest release and want to settle on a, a reasonably stable version. Um, we're currently viewing version 40 as that reasonable stable version um, and betas will continue to come out again. So we'll go to version um, 41, it'll be another beta and we'll keep making change. I, I think change will probably slow down a little bit um, soon. Um, if you look at... Um, our next website, which is github.com slash smegan slash xlights. 
So this is, uh, this is the place you want to go if you would like to download all the source code for Xlites. Um, if you would like to uh, compile and build Xlites yourself, you can do it here. Uh, you, you need to read one of these readme files for your particular platform. It'll tell you, give you all the instructions about what tools you need to install and how you should go about building it. Um, you can ask questions, people will help you. Um, I do my development on Windows, I use Visual Studio, uh, they use code blocks mostly, uh, the release builds in code blocks. Um, uh, Dan does the uh, the Mac build, um, but the Mac Macintosh instructions are here, and the Linux builds done by um, Chris Debenham. Um, typically, the OS X and the Linux build come out slightly after um, the, the Windows build because Sean pretty much makes the, the final call on when we're going to do a release and then it depends on the availability of Dan and Chris uh, to get the others out. Um, but also on the GitHub uh, are the issues. So this is the formal bub bug um, submission. So if you've got an enhancement request, etc., and you want it to be formally tracked, uh, put it here. Um, be careful, do it, you know, consider it very carefully when you do it, make sure that your issue is not already there. Um, sometimes some of the developers get a little grumpy if silly things are posted here. They'd prefer that you post your initial questions potentially on the forum or on the Facebook groups. Um, and once you reach a point where you're pretty sure that it's, hey, it's something I want to request, you put it on here. Just because things are on here doesn't mean that we get to them. Um, we try to keep it under 100, um, but it's blown out in the last few weeks. And you know, there's a few things on here, which to be honest, I, I can't see us ever doing. But you know, people put the, the requests out there. Um, the only other thing that's sometimes cool to look at, um, you want to get a feeling for um, how much X lights changes or how much it, how much it changes. You get a feel here with some of the charts here around, you know, how much X lights has changed over the last few years. Uh, you can also, um, you know, you can also see well who are the developers and you know this graph up here really shows just how much work has happened in the first half of the year. So this chart is showing you how many changes are committed every week um, to X lights. Um, so last year there was a lot of activity early in the year. That was when we built version four, and it kind of quietened down towards the end of the year, tapered off. Um, it's been absolutely manic the first half of this year. Um, but look, I, I'm assuming it's going to drop back down to a, a reasonable um, level. So that's um, that's that one. Um, the only other one is you know, the horror that is Facebook. Um, uh, there's a couple of groups here um, that are actually dedicated to Xlites. The most active by far is the official Xlites support group. Um, so this this will have you know a dozen posts or so a day, lots of active conversation um, going on, lots of people posting what they've done, um, models, uh, questions, bugs, all sorts of things appear here. Um, and then there's also the Xlite support group. Uh, both of them are closed groups. Um, you just hop onto them, request access. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure everyone gets in. I don't think they're particularly exclusive about who they look in, uh, who they um, add in. They let Liv go in, so. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they're obviously very generous. Um, but yeah, they, so these are, these are probably more active these days um, uh, than the forum. Um, but the forum, to be honest, there's, there's a lot of historical stuff in the forum. Um, Sorry, where are we? Uh, Google group. Oh, it's not that one. I want to close group. You won't get to that one. Um, not cracker. So yeah, there's a lot of historical stuff that you can get out in here. That one of the challenges with X lights at times though is that things do move on so quickly. Um, uh, but you know, if you if you're thinking of using X lights as your scheduler, um, I can tell you the scheduler hasn't changed in at least three years. And so if you can find a video that goes through how to use the scheduler, it's not going to be any different. Um, for those that haven't actually, let me go back to the releases page. Um, one of the things that's on the releases page is the manual up here. 
Um, it's a pretty big download. It's um, sometimes the links a little bit unreliable. I don't know why, but um, if you can download it, it's over 200 pages. Um, it's maintained by Jerry in Melbourne there and uh, and some other guys in the States. Um, it's generally a few releases behind. Uh, this is version 31, which doesn't sound right. I think I was looking at version 38. So I, I think that either that links out of date. Um, there's a newer version that is floating around on Facebook for, for up to version 38. Um, if you're going into one of the dark alleys like, you know, LOR importing or shed, the scheduler, etc., cetera, um, a good place to start is the manual. Uh, Jerry's done a reasonable job of unpicking things um, and explaining how they work. Um, if, you know, if what you want to know is not in the manual, then post something and I'm sure Jerry will take a look at it and try and get something um, up to date and documented. So they're probably the key, um, the key sites that are worthwhile knowing about if you're after information about X-Lights.